Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. It's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Friday and we got an update to the roadmap pushing all the way to 312. Let's take a look. I don't think this will take very long. We start with patch 310, which is listed as complete, which makes sense, it's in PTU. 311 is Q3 2020. 26 to 46 is the cargo deck as part of the expanded cargo gameplay. This amongst other things is designed to add a cargo timer for cargo transfer. AI lists ship hazard avoidance and polished FPS combat, both as scheduled. Gameplay lists throw at 53 of 56. Elevator panel upgrade, zero of three. Object push pull is scheduled. Missile operator mode is scheduled. Better death ragdoll animations are zero of five. Lost Surrender V2, 7 of 14, and Ship to Station, Ship to Ship Docking was both removed. The 100 series of three ships are listed. The 100i is the base touring at 19 of 30. The 125a is the starter fighter at 3 of 25. The 135c is the starter cargo at 3 of 25. The Star Runner is 3 of 115, and we close out with attachments for the multi-tool and one player serviceable grenade launcher at 20 of 30. And they're adding water floaty physics to make it look cool. Q4 2020 is new and that brings us to 312. One of seven lists a mystery armor. Three of 49 is the refinery deck that was bumped over from 311. And with that is 39 of 53 station based refinery. And we round out the patch with weapon zeroing, which is the act of slaving the weapon scope to the axis of the bore, making it hit where you're aiming. This would indicate that in the future, it will be possible for a weapon to lose its accuracy, thus requiring this calibration. And finally, a multi-tool tractor beam, which lets you move stuff around, zero of 13. Orson, which is the Cloud City over Crusader, is not on the roadmap, but they did say to expect parts of it early 2021 and other parts mid 2021. The Hercules is also not on the roadmap. I have the link to the roadmap posted in the description. That's it. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.